Futurism. Today, we're at the World's Fair Nano in Brooklyn, New York, talking to the planet's leading experts on synthetic biology, flying cars, and more. You won't want to miss it. To begin with, RJ, what is synthetic biology? It's used principally to mean that we're actually today making precise modifications to genomes, and we're writing gene programs in a very uh, deliberate way. And we didn't formerly have the technology to do this, and now we do. What does that mean, to actually edit genomes? Every living thing on this planet runs on the same software. And it's written in a base 4 code, and it's written in a, a molecule called DNA. And so to edit a genome simply means that we're going in and making changes to these software programs. What are the ways that today bioengineering is already transforming our world? The, the first practical applications that already are out there are in the field of human health. So, for example, human insulin, which every diabetic has to take, what we did was take the, the portion of the human genome that produces the pre-pro insulin and we put it in a, a bacterium. It's changed tremendously uh, the picture for people with diabetes. Then second is food. Uh, already there are about, I don't know, around $30 billion worth of um, food technology-based products that employ synthetic biology on the market, and that's growing very rapidly. Beyond that, we see applications in environment, like with our genetically modified mosquitoes that can lower the population of the Aedes aegypti mosquito, which is the principal vector for Zika, dengue, chikungunya, yellow fever, and so forth. How do you think that this will transform our world maybe in the far future, like the next 30 years, maybe the next century? Over the next few years, I think you'll see that we'll be able to have complete cures for most autoimmune diseases. And that is a secondary consequence of all of the work that's going on in immune oncology right now, which is retraining the immune systems to target cancer. So I think within the next decade or so, most cancers will be curable. If there was one thing that you could leave people with, one thought or idea about the future of, of bioengineering, what would that one thing be? This is the generation that will take this forward. And this as an industrial vector and as a social and cultural vector is the biggest thing that we've ever seen. 